All right, so I'm gonna use the Eco Rinse Machine on my truck for part two of this two-part series. Uh, I'm Gary Dean, I own DetailJuice.com, and we're gonna launch the Eco Rinse Machine very soon. So this is the demo portion of this two-part series. So as you know, I added some rubber to the tip. That's what she said. And a uh, little bit of flow there. Turn the unit on. All right, guys, I got it running. Can you hear that? It's very, very quiet. I can barely hear it. It's a huge benefit over a gas-powered pressure washer. It's even quieter than some of the electric units I've owned. So anyway, I got the unit ready to go. I wouldn't let the pump run all day if you're in between doing something as far as washing. But if you let it run for a few minutes, it's gonna be fine. I got a gallon of water in the bucket. I got an ounce of Evo shampoo in the bucket. Got a eco rinse machine in my hand. Now check it out. For the rinse, Plenty of pressure to unbond contaminants. Plenty of flow. Got a little air in the line, you can hear that. Notice underneath the truck, guys. Do you see that? You see underneath the truck? Very little runoff. All that water I just sprayed, sprayed on the truck. This video is at uh, two minutes and 33 seconds. I got about a half of a gallon of water on the truck right now, guys. That's considerable. And guess what? It's on the truck. It's not on the ground. Wow! This thing has plenty of bug removal, like bug splatter removal power without being overbearing or worrying about whether or not you're gonna rip the paint straight off the body pan. Awesome. I know I'm shooting a bunch of video and I'm just letting the pump run just to show you that it's okay if you don't turn it right off. You just don't want to let it run too long. Three, four minutes, probably not going to hurt anything at all. Just turn it off when you're not using it, but we're just going to let it run. You notice the uh, tight beating on the truck? That's infinite force field. It's a bad man. So anyway, it's still dirty though. I got all the big debris off of it, and again, and I'll just take you off the tripod. Notice the lack of water pooling on the ground. This right here was from a bucket that I spilled out earlier, but underneath the vehicle, very little. 
very little underneath the vehicle. You're using the water that you need to unbond the contaminants from the surface, leaving it lubricated on the surface and not wasting water and polluting the environment with the runoff. It's truly amazing. So, I'm gonna get to washing. If you guys wanna watch some of that, you can. If not, you can fast forward the video. But that's where we're at. We're gonna start washing now. Evo shampoo. Adding protection to the infinite force field so that it basically will never go away. And I'm just letting the pump run. Could probably turn it off and restart it, but nah. saying I recommend it. I'm just saying that it's not going to burn up if you let it run for a couple of minutes. I'm estimating you can do a whole truck like this with five gallons of water. Because remember, one whole minute on that trigger spraying water is only a half of a gallon. I'm probably only spraying for about 10 or so seconds every time. This is where you need this longer nozzle, or the uh, wand anyway. I like it. Yeah, buddy.
That's the hood and the front bumper, or the front end, I should say. Just remember, the Eco Rinse Machine is about far more than just saving the environment and being more eco friendly. It's about saving you time and money. That's what it's about. Less water, less space, better fuel economy. It's just better. ton of water it's the water you need you're not wasting if you're in a area that's you have to be more conscious of what amount of water you're using or you know if you're if you're not in a place where you have to do a water a waterless wash this is an option for you to do a traditional wash and still be safe on the environment it's so important to conserve water these days we only have so much fresh water. Good stuff. I'm going to clean these wheels. Because this is my personal truck and I wash it once a month, the wheels aren't real bad. Nothing heavily caked on. None of that. Quick pre rinse will break up any contaminants. Get in there. With a brush, you get the barrel done. Microfiber towel on the face of the wheels. Get those looking good. Maintenance is the key to anything that is detailing. There's no set it and forget it answer, and nothing works properly unless you maintain it, period. Maintenance generally means keeping it clean, washing it. That's a clean wheel right now. I'm gonna use the Eco Rinse Machine. You will see how effective it is on cleaning up the wheels. There you go. Clean wheel. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you got questions, 813-846-4406. Check out detailjuice.com. And if you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my stuff. There'll be a lot of information about the Eco Rinse Machine in that group as well. There already is. There will be more. So uh, thanks so much for watching. and Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much.